so, so flowing. Kind of a weird song choice, I'm not gonna lie. Hi everyone, I'm Alexi and welcome back to this week's Dancing with the Stars reaction. This is part three. Let's take a look at what our dancers have in store for us. All right, here we go with James and Emma dancing a contemporary. Dancing contemporary. Quite beautiful. Emma, you know what it, <laughs> pause for a second. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the old like visualizers for like your music. Like, I don't know, like I had Adele like when I was in high school and you would like when you played the song, you could put on the visualizer. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but that's what it looks like to me. Anyway, going back to the performance. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, this is very interesting. Uh, I was wondering about the, the tempo. They slowed it down. Beautiful. He always flows so well. It's one of his greatest uh, strengths as a dancer. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Maybe a little, uh, seemed a little shaky on the landing there, but the movement was beautiful. So, so flowing. Yeah. Did he do like ballet and stuff? Because I feel like he almost feels like he did. But then his mom is like a dance teacher. Beautiful. That was really lovely. I didn't even, I didn't say that much because I was quite uh, caught up in it. And again, I don't have as much to add um on contemporary routines specifically but <laughs> his mom's crying um but that was really 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 lovely just beautiful transitions from move to move uh very flowing um yeah just liquid in, in a really good way okay scores for james they're gonna be good ted from carry Ann. it might be all tens i think it's gonna be ted from len 10 from Bruno. Yes. This night is great. I'm having a great time. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the first of the dance-off rounds. We have Ali versus Kel dancing a jive. Dancing I'm excited. Jive Ooh, it looks like Turtle. <laughs> Nerd reference. Versus okay. Kel All right, let's see it. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's hard to watch both at once. <laughs> Very nice with Cal. Very cute with Ali. <laughs> Such a high energy routine. Very cute little dips. Very nice trick. Yes. Uh -huh. I'd like to see with both of them, there's a little bit of like jiviness that I would like to see more of. Uh, that was a really roundabout way of saying that. So yeah, okay. That was super fun. I can't say that I saw a big difference between like who did better. They both did well. Uh, with both, I would have liked to see more of like the more jive with the capital J-ness, uh but um, there's some very nice like tricks in there. Uh, it was fun, let's see what the judges think. Okay, carry on, pick to Kel. Ali. Okay, here goes Bruno, the question. Kel. All right, bonus points for Kel. All right, second of the dance-offs, we have Kate 
and Sean doing a cha-cha. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, it's got some body action coming in there. Sean is bopping. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a weird song choice, I'm not gonna lie. Kate's arms were not ideal there, but she has some body action. Um, Sean has very little, but slightly better shaping than before. There we go, that's nice. It's not very cha cha, but it's nice. Uh huh. Hey! Sean actually looks decent doing that. Uh huh. Good. Kate didn't do that perfectly, but it was a difficult thing to do. Interesting. You know, it's funny. I was actually expecting there to be a bigger divide between those two. Um. I'm not saying there wasn't still a divide, because there was, <laughs> um, but uh, Sean did slightly better than I expected and Kate did slightly worse than I expected. That having been said, um, she attempted a lot of difficult things. I'm getting the sense from these that people are still, which is logical, pouring most of their energy into the um, solo numbers. And so these, I don't think that were Kate and Pasha to do another full cha-cha again, I feel like it would not look like that. Also with Sean, interestingly, I wonder if he kind of works better with Jenna as his partner. Anyway, to be clear, I definitely would give it to Kate. Um, there was a lot, there were a lot of like things that needed cleaning up. It was kind of messy, but it was also like three or four times as difficult as anything Sean was doing and his moves were not perfect either. So anyway, <laughs> okay, judge's decision. I mean, it's gonna be Kate for everyone. Kate. 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 Bonus points for Kate. Okay, here we go with the final dance off of the night between Lauren, Elena, and Hannah. They're doing a salsa, which should be interesting because Hannah's had consistently higher scores overall. She's a much more experienced dancer. However, the more sensual dances are harder for her. And we do know that Lauren, Elena can kind of bring that sensuality a little more. So. This actually could be anyone's game. I'm curious. So sparkly. Yeah. Aha. And it's doing really well. Uh -huh. Both doing well. Hannah's definitely has it right now. She's got, she's out of the hip action. Good for her. Mm -hmm. And it's a, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Came out fighting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, she gave plenty to it, but Hannah's was, Hannah's action was just as good, just, uh, just a little smaller. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can tell poor thing, she's really uncomfortable with it though. Uh, just like having to be quite that sexual. Nice. Okay, so they both did a really good job. Um, to me, Hannah was the clear winner. She did really well with that. Again, something has kind of clicked for her as well. Um, there actually was some really nice um, hip action in that. It was smaller, but it was a little more a little cleaner. Hannah did super, like she did a super good job. Neither of them have done salsas before, um, but it was, it just wasn't quite as, as polished. To Lauren's credit, I think she's actually at times was a little more fluid to the upper body where there were moments where Hannah's like shoulders felt a little stiff. Scores from the judges, or not scores, but response. Hannah. I'm going to be surprised if it's not Hannah across the board. Hannah. Anna. Yes. I mean, it is. And I like Lauren Lena, but it was that was Hannah's win for sure. Okay, so 
Ali and uh, Kate are in the bottom two. I'm thinking that it's going to be Kate who goes home, but it's really interesting that Ali is in the bottom two again. That's interesting. There must be something that people aren't quite clicking with as much, or or maybe, I don't know, maybe she's like, maybe she and Hannah have a similar like voting crew, and so they kind of shifted over. I could, I could understand in like, for the last couple performances, how people might not love Ali's performances as much, but I, th I thought this one was really good. Kate has been consistently on the lower end of it. This is her, not her first time in the bottom two, so that makes sense. I'm putting aside the fact that Sean was not in the bottom two, um, because that's a little frustrating <laughs> at this point in the competition. But anyway, here we go. As predicted, it's Kate who's going home. That's not too surprising, but I'm gonna miss uh, having her on the show, in part because, I don't know, she and Pasha were always interesting. Like sometimes, Sometimes it went better than others. But yeah, but there, there's something kind of special about that pairing. Kate is just like immensely likable as a person. And so I was just like on a, apart from the dancing, like on a personal level, I've been cheering for her, but put in the same position, I would have picked Ali too to continue. So it is what it is. Again, I'm not gonna talk about the shot thing. I'm getting a little frustrated now, in part because well, I just said I'm not going to talk about it. Apparently, I'm going to talk about it. I'm getting a little frustrated because not only is he not the best dancer, but I also feel like his routines from week to week have been starting to look almost the same. And if that's all he can do, that's fine. But just like as a viewer, it's not even that interesting to watch, uh, even relative to him, because it's kind of like, oh, yeah, here's that move. Here's that move. Here's that move. So I hope at least... Uh, next time we'll see some change up in the choreography. That aside, good job, Kate. I will miss watching you. All right, that was it for part three of this week's Dancing with the Stars. A little bit of an irritating end, but great dancing. So uh, there was a great episode overall, and I'm really looking forward to reacting to next week's. Thanks so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. This is Dance Curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye.